Okay, hey there guys. How goes things? Uh, just making sure I got everything right. I just recorded a little bit and it didn't, didn't work. So it's going, it's going. So how are you? Beautiful day here in Northern California. They're spraying. Oh yes, they're spraying. Are they spraying? I talked to a couple of guys, campers and stuff, and it's a few days ago, one of the guys who hangs out there a lot. Let me roll this up. Maybe that's a little better. Yeah, and they, they were just dumping. I mean, big trails. They've been dumping way thicker than they usually do. I think this last year, it's really, really picked up. And I said, uh, yeah, what do, you, what do you think about this? And he goes, oh, what, those condensation trails? This is a guy I like him. He's actually a cool, he gave me a, gave me this little knife here. See that? Kind of a nice one, because I didn't have one, you know. I guess we were cutting rope or something. Well, anyways, let me get back to it. So, um, yeah, the dump in the chemtrails, whatever they are. And uh, he said, oh, the con I said, man, dude, does that look like condensation to you? And he's telling me, a uh, real nice guy, I like him a lot, Tom. Uh, He's telling me about one of his friends who's real technically smart, you know, college and all that. And I said, man, that's, that's why we're told trust no man. Not that his friend's lying to him, but, you know, whoever educated him on all these technical, you know, crystallized particles in the air and that, and, you know, I'm sure that guy is a liar deceiver. But, you know, they've already come out saying they're geoengineering. I think they're spraying other stuff on us. I have no idea. I don't know. There was a gal, I, I haven't gone to bars anymore, but when I did go to one, I think it was about a month ago or something, she was telling me, uh, I don't know how we got on the subject either, but she was telling me her plants were all dying and stuff, and she did a soil sample and sent it off to uh, EPA and and they said they came back. That was their geoengineering program. Isn't that a trip? Um, but I still think there's other stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so I got to head into town and uh, want to take some stuff to the dumps. We have a bunch of dumpsters there, but God love them, man. That guy is so cheap. He doesn't want to dump the stuff in his dumpsters. Um, so I'm gonna head to town because I gotta get my mail anyways. In Colfax, there's free dumps. So, you know, within reason, obviously, you can't be a contractor and haul your stuff there. But, you know, if you're a resident, they have dumps. So, let's see, I was watching my sister in Christ, her channel, and uh, it's The Truth Bomb. The Truth Bomb. Truth. The Truth Bomb. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're definitely, she's saying, they're gearing up for something now. Yeah, they absolutely are. There's going to be something big. Something big. Shut her down big, you know. I mean, it'll be what it'll be. Nothing we can do about it. But, yeah, they are. You know, it's kind of scary. Again, I ain't really scared. I ain't scared for myself. But just, you know, family. I got boys in the Bay Area and nieces and nephews down there and cousins and, and uh, you know there's some family my mom and brother are up here in the foothills where I am and a niece and her boys so but it's just hard having family that far apart when things go down if they shut it down you know it's just but I, I don't have any power over that I have no control over it um, but and yeah they definitely are uh you can totally see now see again we'll go from the writings of theosophist this poor lady's driving slower than i do that's all right we're in no hurry right um so if you read the writings they despise they despise believers because they believe man can save themselves right they believe that they don't believe in a savior because they don't believe we are fallen beings in a fallen world. They don't believe that. And they say it over and over again. Um, and they believe they could achieve godhood, obviously. 
but yeah, that humanity could save itself, and uh, it's, it's just bizarre, their beliefs, so, um, so, you know, your, your Bible-believing Christian who believes we, we need a savior, I, I don't see how anybody, especially most of these people are college educated, can't see man in its fallen state cannot, absolutely not fix these things. I mean, you know, yeah, we could do things that, you know, the obvious, yes. I mean, yeah, we can, but even even our court systems, you know, here in the U.S., and I don't know about other countries, some are probably in peace and some aren't, even look at our court systems completely flawed. You know, we supposedly, we don't have this great court system, man. If you don't have a good lawyer, you know, I, it's terrible, man. Mm. But anyways, yeah, they do. They despise them. Um, now, there's a quote from, uh, gosh darn it, David Spangler. David Spangler's in with the in crowd, the UN crowd, and all that. He's saying that uh, a Luciferian initiation, that's one that many have taken already, and this was written in the late 70s, early 80s, one many have taken already, and, and everybody in the time to come. That's your mark right there, I believe. I don't believe it's that juice. Thank God, because a lot of people I love, well, a lot of other people, every, you know, everybody has taken it, but... Yeah, thank God. Uh, I guess, you know, if you're, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's one thing where I, I kind of, the theosophist I'm kind of on board with is the no hell. I mean, I, I, I guess if there is, I don't want there to be, though. I'm not excited about it. Yeah, I believe we sinned against, you know, my God, I know I have. Um... I sure don't want to go there. And I know, you know, many people there, everybody, even the best of the best here on this place, it's fallen short. I just, man, I just hope he doesn't send people there. You know, maybe just extinguish the souls. If the soul didn't exist before, it can not exist again, right? That just sounds terrible, guys. It just sounds absolutely terrible. But, uh, yes... So David Spangler, you know, they have their, uh, so they're always, uh, you know, it says, and so I'm going to have to, I tried doing this before, and I think I did do a bit of it, but I have to uh, get Alice Bailey's quotes, and then that way I could read it to you guys, you know, especially her book, uh, Reappearance of the Christ, that one's very telling, and and they say how these these ascended masters, again we call them fallen angels, uh, have been guiding humanity all this time, and uh, how they'll often create turmoil and conflict to further the agenda. You know the work. Um, you know the great plan as the Masons or you know whatever. But they, yeah, they're all on board with that. Now, what I'm wondering, okay, what I'm wondering, so apparently these, these, uh, the hierarchy are going to come here. They've already picked out who's going to, uh, govern what areas, and apparently we won't even have to vote on it because everybody's going to be so on board. Um, so these ascended masters, I'm just going to call them that, right, are going to come here and govern us. Um, okay, so all this strife we're seeing is okay. So you have uh, Klaus Schwab with the uh, with the uh, World Economic Forum. Everybody just despises him. He's over the top, comic book evil like, right? Uh, Bill Gates, you know. I mean, boy, such a small percentage, really, you know. But um, you know, I guess a lot of people like that Elon Musk dude, but. But, you know, here's the thing. It could change in a, in a heartbeat. So, I think all those, the, the uh, Catholic Church, well, see, Theosophists and the Catholic Church are kind of at odds. 
they're kind of at odds. In fact, they very much are at odds. Uh, they don't like the, the Catholic Church. I think the Catholic Church is getting thrown under the bus because, well, we got to have this uh, onboard global religion, right? Um, I think all these people that we are seeing in our, our uh, you know, conspiracy world and, and, you know, most of the people who aren't really into that are seeing uh, is, is this over the top whack, wacky, uh, you know, the over the top evil and they're all getting thrown under the bus, whether really they do or if they just get a new makeover, or, you know, I don't know. I suppose so. I suppose they'll just put them, maybe put them in a different body or I don't know. But yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Um, cause it is, it's over the top freaking weird. Um, and I think so, like I was saying before, I think, uh, well, 2025. They're all abuzz about 2025. So we're in the stage, what they call the stage of the forerunner. All right. And that this is, so their next annual, our year, 100 years, whatever you'd say about that. They have the conclave, a little meeting with the ascended masters, and they all discuss what they're going to do for the next 100 years. Well, apparently, this is the, so 2025 is the next one, because the last one was 1925. Um, the next one is the, uh, it's, it's uh, part of the externalization. So they're getting ready to, they're getting ready to uh, show everybody. And uh, it'll probably be in stages. Right now we're in the stage of the forerunner. So they've been building up to it. So we can see from the 50s and the 60s how... All right, let me jump out here and dump this stuff real quick. So, yeah, we're in the stage of the forerunner. Um, now, it won't be a complete flip or rollover come 2025 but I think it's going to move real fast as it is now um what else oh uh, apparently there's going to be a big economic collapse worldwide we could see that we can see that building up I think that's going to be a doozy there um well they have everything tied around the American dollar U.S. dollar and uh, so I, I reckon when that goes down, if it goes down suddenly, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of their beliefs I kind of lean towards. I mean, like the sharing the resources. We should have been doing that all along. I mean, we let our fellows in, in countries like in Africa starve. And here in the U.S., my God, people have like... 10 muscle cars I mean not everybody but you know even me who I'm considered like pretty poor and I live extremely well I was in Safeway yesterday last night man I'm looking at all this food remember uh oh you better stockpile now you know fuck. you haven't done it by now you're you're screwed let me go to the post office Okay, guys, I had to run into the post office, too, so I got that done. Now I'm heading to go get a... I have a... Oh, uh, one of those uh, still weed eaters. Man, that thing's awesome. But my bump feeder, where you bump it and it lets out more strength, it's broke, so I got to get a new one. But I had it for about five years. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you know, the whole... We got to... We got to... I oh, man can't tell you how much I had stockpiled the last few years just but um you know they're for sharing the resources and I you know I don't think it necessarily it doesn't have to be like a socialism kind of way I think they've been manipulating us for god you know especially in days days of Noah covers this real well in his uh, series I forget what it's called but you know, the Travis Stock Institute, the Macy Conference. That was all spiritual, too. That was spiritual, too. There was a... 
you know, you, if you uh, Google Macy conference and just go to Google Images, you'll see all those people sitting around a table with their hands out like they're, uh, you know, summoning the spirits, right? And the Travis Stock Institute, if you're not familiar with it, they are the people who've been shaping society and culture, the, the trends, all that. Travis Stock Institute, man. All that. It's crazy. So, like the, the chicks doing the fish slip and sticking their butt out. I bet you that was a Travis Stock Institute that started that. You know, um, you know anything. Say, I even think all the gangs. I don't believe that was organic. The the Crips, the Bloods that we had. You know, I mean, yeah, there was big gangs before, and there would have been gangs with it. I, I just think they were behind that. The whole uh, gangster rap. The whole, you know you know, taking like the black man and, you know, the whole family. I mean, they've done it with all of us, white, black, Asian, you know, separating the family. Asians and Hispanics have been pretty, you know, they, they stick together. They really do. Um, but they, you know, that was able to really destroy the black family by taking the man out. And that's what they did with the welfare state that, you know, you can't have any handouts if you got a man there, right? But anyways, I'm getting off topic. So, yeah, I, man, I think they could have, uh, you know, we could be doing that. A country like like the U.S. and some of the other Western countries, man, you know, we could be doing it on our own just. But you see, they've done that. And then they make it a point to where anything goes to those countries. It never goes to the people, you know, it never goes to the people. Um, it just, we're fallen beings in a fallen world, man. Um, all right, let me do this. That's done. Had to get my weed eater part, so that's going to be good. Um, now I forgot where I was. I remembered the last one. Yeah, yeah, the, you know, helping, I mean, yeah, of course, U.S., just speaking for the U.S., gets tons of money, but I don't know, man. And that's kind of socialist. They have no right to take money that people have paid, you know, strong. I mean, hey, if people don't want to pay, they shouldn't have to. I personally would. I would like to see, you know, but it wouldn't be the government doing it. We as people would just do it, you know. These people, you know, they're brothers and sisters, you know, in Africa and in South America. Of course, their government's hosing them, but... I don't know, man. I don't have the answers. Again, fallen beings in a fallen world. Um, but yeah, I need to get a theosophy one put together. Or I can, and here's the thing. I finally have internet. They let me on their hotspot out there. So I've been getting internet. It's great. Um, which was nice, nice of them. They're not bad people. Actually, I like them both. It's just, you know, well, people are different. People are different. They're different than me. I got to get this truck fixed. So I have today off, supposedly tomorrow. I was so freaking beat, man. I, I was, boy, I was dead dog tired two days ago. I didn't even think I'd be able to work, but I rocked it, made it through. I do. I work real, real, real hard. But then it's just, it's painful at night, you know? And then, you know, when you just go so hard, getting all that overtime, I got a lot of overtime that's coming up check. You know? and, but it's just, I'm so hard on myself, man. It, I beat myself up and then I'm done. I can get out till late. What time is it? It's 3.30. So what I'm going to do, I might go fishing, and I have a setup to put the camera on there, and you guys come fishing with me. They've been slaying the bass out there. Everybody's been catching them, so we could do that. But I do got to get the thought theosophy one put together, too. So there's my little bit of road trip ramblings. That's what we'll call this, road trip ramblings. Road trip. That really wasn't a road trip, but we're going to call it that, all right? All right, guys, I love y'all.